A Conover woman arrested yesterday is charged with multiple counts of assaulting an officer. She was placed in jail here in Newton without bond. A court date was scheduled for today. 27-year-old Leanne Sevang of 6th Avenue Drive Southwest in Conover was arrested yesterday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. She's charged with felony counts of assault with physical injury to a law enforcement probation or parole officer and assault with a deadly weapon on a government official, along with a misdemeanor count of injury to personal property. Sevang was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility without bond. A district court appearance was scheduled for today. 37-year-old Samuel Wade Lawrence of 27th Avenue Northeast in Hickory was arrested last Wednesday, June 1st, by Hickory police officers. He's charged with felony assault with a deadly weapon inflicting serious injury, along with misdemeanor counts of assault on a female and communicating threats. Lawrence was detained in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $25,000 bond. He remained in jail as of earlier today. A district court appearance is scheduled for June 16th. The next suspect is a Burke County resident who was arrested yesterday by authorities in Longview. He faces a stolen vehicle charge. 25-year-old Nolan Lamar Weaver of Harding Road in Connolly Springs was arrested Tuesday by Longview police officers. He's charged with possession of a stolen motor vehicle and simple possession of Schedule II controlled substance. Weaver was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $3,000 bond and remained in jail as of earlier today. A district court date was scheduled for today. 31-year-old Jacelia Norisha Bird of 5th Avenue Southwest in Hickory was arrested by Hickory police officers. She's charged with felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia, and failure to appear on account of assault and battery. Bird was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility last Thursday morning under $6,000 bond. She is no longer listed as an inmate here in Catawba County. District court appearances are scheduled for June 13th and June 16th. Reporting from the Catawba County Justice Center in Newton, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News.